Welcome back, Reverend Big John's Backyard Fishing. We are not in the backyard today. We are out on the York River with Captain Kennedy in the house. <laughs> Coming to try to search some spot. Uh, nice day. It's about, uh, what is it about? 40 degrees right now. 50 degrees. Six, seven mile per hour winds. And uh, in Atlanta, I got my pin battle out. Battle rod and rail combo. Well, I was speaking. I don't know what's going on. I'll call up GoPro and see what the deal is. But uh, anyway, we're going to try to locate some spot. And anything else is biting. So, because uh camera acting up, I'll be back when we uh, land on something. Alright, catch you in a minute. Welcome back. We are still. Bottom fishing right now. Trying to find a nice school or spot. <laughs> I don't know if he keep it though. What's, what's y'all size? We got, we got to look at the witcher car. Look at this, y'all. We got a flounder on. I ain't never caught no flounder. Look over there. This one here, huh? Oh man. 14, 14 and a half. You sure it's 16? You looking at it? All right. Man, I got to take a picture though. It's my first flounder. Y'all see that? Let me read this for you real quick and I'm done. First Corinthians 9. He's like, are you finished taking pictures? From the 24th verse to the end. You know that in a race all the runners run, but only one runner gets the prize. So run like that. Run to win. All who compete in the games use strict training. They do this so they can win a prize. One that doesn't last. But our prize is one that will last forever. So I run like someone who has a goal. I fight like a boxer who was hitting something, not just the air. It is my own body. I fight to make it do what I want. <laughs> I do this so that I won't miss getting the prize myself wow. after telling yeah, others dumb. about it. Yeah. You want A's in school? Go get them. You want to be the I'm best the that I caught in your pound. sport? I can tell study first I finally caught one. and prepare for your sport second. You truly want to be a genius? Put in the work. You want to be able to be the class valedictorian and make that speech at the end of your graduation? You can do it. 
Nobody will stop you other than yourself. And ask teenagers right, who have graduated, ask young, young adults, clown, ask older folks. Putting them back. How did they do and how did their life go? I got a couple furs here. Got my first speckled trout now. Pretty little thing. Not legal though. Take a picture of this one too. Oh, uh, he's probably about 12. Don't think. You see the size on him? Yeah. He ain't 14. Thank you, sir. I got him suddenly, he came out of nowhere, huh? Right in that break. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. We yeah. got two firsts on. Not bad. I'm hungry now. I'm gonna go grab me some snacks. I'm a striper. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, we done found a little spot where there's some action. I have to get me some of you, y'all. You gotta keep your energy up. You're in one to two foot of water. You just cut towards somebody. That's why I felt like a keeper. <laughs> For the flounder, a couple speck with trout, rockfish. You might be on something here. Coming in a low tide right now. Want some crackers or something? Man? We got the speckles coming in. Got them coming in. Chill out, bro. Yeah, let you go. Thank you, sir. Had no action. Now we're getting action. That's how fishing is, y'all. One minute you might not be having anything. Next minute the bite is on for a certain amount of time. Before it shuts down, you gotta try to do as much damage as you can. But uh, that's what's up. You got this all twisted up. Got a strike while the fire is hot. Same thing in life. You know, when things are going on point, stay on top of it. Don't let it stop. Keep rolling with it. Keep rolling with it until the well runs dry. Drink a little water. You got the camera on? Yeah. I wonder if you had one of the strikes that you had. Um, I think the last one it may have been on, or I cut it on in the middle of it. Yeah, that break is where the action is. Woo! And on the bottom, bouncing off the bottom. We are trying to catch our 
first keeper. Speckle. The drifting kind of slowed down from where it was. Where are we getting there? I'd like to see an underwater hit. I'm looking. Get him in. <laughs> so you put him in the same spot in that break. That's got to be 14. I told you. Good to go back in. They just must be sitting there. They're tearing that grub up. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Oh, yeah. Another striker here. I keep it warm. Stand down right there. Right. Hmm. Yeah, he ain't came up yet, has he? If not, he a good one. No, that's a speckle. Yeah, I can. So I can get some of this here action. Action. They still, they still seem to love that grub better. No, I can't. I'm gonna hit your head. He's smoking me, y'all. With his little grub, I need to switch to a grub.
it was a big one who was chasing it. Of course, he's chasing, not hitting. <laughs> he just broke off at the boat. So one did come way out here. That's what I figured. I thought they'd be chasing stuff. Like if I do it fast, they should be on that hit, you know? But that's not seen to be what's working. Bigger morsel right here. One of them big ones out of, out of retirement. All right, watch out, young whippersnapper. That one's mine. And so y'all may be asking, why have I not switched yet? <laughs> uh, I guess I don't feel like tying nothing back on. That's a chartreuse. And I have gotten some hits, just not as many. They like this swim tail. This flutter should be, you know, pretty much mimic that same thing. That's a good idea. You got another grub? Because I got the buck tail on it. Oh, you gotta go. Now it makes sense. This brother Big John, we've been catching these uh, speckled trout like it ain't nothing, man. My man done wore me out, but I got about 10 to 15 to my name, so that's pretty good. Only got one keeper. We trying to work on four a piece. And uh, so I'm gonna get out of here for a minute. But hey, y'all, always remember, keep the Lord first and keep your lines tight. God bless, and I'll see you next time on the water. Oh yeah, he is. Yeah, he looks
Which size you say? 14. We have a keeper. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a keeper. I had to take a picture. We right at 14. I finally uh, changed my bait up. That brother was killing him. <laughs> no, lazy. Didn't feel like tying that no. Know that the bucktail, I mean the witch car should be working. But it wasn't, y'all. Not like this thing. Where we at? You wanna throw that in the cooler? Bought my first speckle today and my first keeper. This color is crazy. Oh, I like the big ones may be coming in. Came out here for for spot, but looks like it's gonna be a uh, speckled trout beat down. Man, we out here doing this thing, man. That's Captain. Look at Captain Kennedy back there. He been killing them. He got he got about 50 fish, man. He had about 50 speckled trout. I probably got about 30. He was wearing me out, y'all, but he gave me this one bait. Don't be put this on. This one bait here has been killing the speckled trout, man. So I'm just checking in with y'all, man, out here in uh York, the York River, down in Virginia, Newport News, hanging out with my man Anthony, man. And I came in early this morning, do a little bit of fishing. We came out looking for spout, man. Spout, uh, not spout, spot. And uh, look, I'm getting trout and spot mixed, mixed, mixed all up. So we've been out here for a minute and uh, started off slow, you know, but that's fishing, right? Until you can find them. And then we came to this here little shallow area. No more than about what, one to three feet of water? And man, we've been crushing them, man. Crushing them left and right. I'm talking right now and see if he'll get one on while I'm talking, but man, we 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 didn't hit over 50 trout. They, uh oh, he had a bite. We didn't hit about 50 of these things, man, and uh, you know, just out here having a good day, man. Get out there and enjoy life. It's Reverend Big John. Always remember, keep the Lord first and keep your lines tight. God bless. I'll see you next time on the water. Go ahead and nail that thing, man. It's still on. We we'll see if we if we can get one. And he ain't missed all day, y'all, so y'all know them fish getting tired or he getting tired. <laughs> All right. 
After a long day on the water, we gotta do some fillet. Now, you can fillet a fish three different ways. You can cut down to the gill plate and slide it all the way down. You can come from the bottom and slide it all the way up. Or you can make a slit here and go down the dorsal spot. So let's do that. Let's get up under the gill plate. Find my cut. Come down to the bone. Go along the dorsal. Staying along the bone, keeping the person. Once you get to the bottom of the bone, to the back here, you want to clear this part and come out through the back. So, still down. Come all the way through. Then just come down, keep pressure on it, and all the way down to the bone, bring it through. Open your fish up. Just go right along the rib cage, opening your fillet up. All right, even when I'm not on the water, camera still cuts off for me. Now that I'm here and I got this part of the fillet, I just come down, go along the belly. I'm gonna cut it off anyway. Take the fish, move it out the way. Now you have a clean fillet. You want to cut the belly fat off. Most of your toxins and poisons are right in that belly. All your PCBs and the stuff they say you shouldn't eat. So cut the belly off. Get rid of it. You don't need it. All you want is the filet mignon of the fish. Then being yeah, speckled trout, be careful with the skin because it is super thin. Place your knife right up under the skin, between the skin and the meat. Go back and forth, applying pressure. Come up, so you can get the skin in one shot. Yeah, a little skin got right there, but you get the gist of it. Here, the other two already been filleted. So lay them, clean them off. No bones. Get your paper towel out. Now normally, I wouldn't do all this if I was getting ready to cook it, but I'm getting ready to freeze them. When you get fish, and you want fish to last and stay fresh, vacuum seal them. Best thing you can do. You know, don't put them in no regular freezer bag because you'll forget about them, they get freezer burnt. If you do put them in a freezer bag, Make sure that you cook them within a week, max. Um, if you vacuum seal them, these things can sit for a year and still be just as fresh as the day you cut them. This is Reverend Big John. Always remember, keep the Lord first and keep your lines tight. God bless. Let me finish cleaning my fish, put them up for the night. It's time for me to call it a day. See y'all next time on the water.